I have tried almost all the other alternatives, even the big names. The support isn't there. Matter of fact, a lot of my business is modeled after the support I received from Greg and Solicam. Hello, MTD CNC. Thank you for tuning in. I've traveled down to Clyde, Texas to meet with Kelvin from Smooth Precision Pens. Hi. How are you doing today, Kelvin? Doing well, man. Doing well. Thank you guys for coming by. Oh, of course. No problem. So we're here today to talk about Cam. Yeah. Uh, oh, and God Solid yeah. Cam. Uh huh? So uh, how long have you been a user of Solid Cam? I first started using Solid Cam in 2007 when I worked for a race car, a race car developer. And he used solid cam. I, as a user, you really don't know what's good about something because, okay, this is just my job and this is what I have to use. When I left that job and opened my own shop, then I started trying out different cams. That's when it became very apparent, like, oh, I got to go back. What do you use for a CAD? Uh, for a uh, CAD? Well, CAD, uh, solid works. And then solid cam works on the inside of it. Fantastic. Yeah, and I hear that's a pretty seamless integration, huh? No, it's, it's, it's seamless. There's not pretty. It's, it is. You <laughs> literally just click solid cam and hey, it comes right up. No problem. No, it's fantastic. Yeah, I know they're big in, in the universities as well. And that's, yeah. that's where my experience with solid cam yeah. and yeah. solid works comes from. So uh, do you remember there being a learning curve at all? I mean, you're obviously pretty experienced with it by now. Yes and no. They include, I guess, e example parts and simulations and a manual to get you up to speed. But honestly, after an hour, you don't need it because the strength of solid cam is the support. Cam is pretty pictures. That's what it is. When you put out G-code, that's where the money's made because the G-code tells the machine what operations to run and how to run. Mm -hmm. In the cam world, people are generally operating with jacked up cam, with, with jacked up uh, post processors. Post processors, that's usually the way it is. Mm -hmm. With solid cam, they make your post processor a la carte and doesn't end with the first iteration. When you, when you get your, when you, okay, when you first sign up, they say, what machine do you have? What access, can you please give us the manual? And they usually have like an 80% or a 90% solution cam, uh, cam or a um, post for that machine. But everybody runs their machine different. Mm -hmm. So what happens is you'll run the machine and you get the code just like, you know what, I like it to run like this. They will modify the post to your liking. And then they'll keep reiterating it for you, free of charge. As long as you're on subscription, I mean, okay, right now I am on revision for the Swiss. I am on revision 82, something like that. So I've had 82 interactions with Solid Cam of them changing something. It's not because they weren't good enough, it's because, okay, now I'm doing five axes, I need this part. Okay, now I ran into a problem. Now if I do this, 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 and this, I gotta put this M code in. And we just do minor little tweaks now. I mean, for Swiss particular, they sent Greg, Greg! They sent Greg out here for a week to modify and actually make the post on site. Swiss is not easy. Mm -hmm. So doing it remotely is not feasible. I saw cameras on all these machines. They came here to support the Swiss. The rest of them were done remote because, oh, Duzon, okay, we got that, no problem. And sure enough, it, it works. Haas, we got that one too, and that worked. And then, I mean, I've done a few edits with the Haas. The Dusan, I did two major edits. Not that it was fine. The Swiss is where the bulk of it is because we're a Swiss shop. So it's at the point now for the Swiss, mm -hmm. I run code and put it on a machine and walk away. Clear conscience. Fair enough. I don't even watch, I don't even watch the, because I mean, 87, 87 revs, and I'm doing the same thing I did, I did previously. Mm -hmm. The code spits out, I look at it and go, okay, it's about right. Put it on thing go and walk away. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's nice to be able to trust a post-processor yes. like that. Yes. <laughs> Thought exercise. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use another software that does not have customizable code. Okay, you saved X amount of dollars. Great. But you have a problem with the post. How do you fix it? I'm going to go take a JavaScript class. Okay, you took a Java class. All right, how much is that? X amount of dollars. So now you're spending three to four hours a week, at, at minimum, playing with the post to get to do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. You bill out at $100 an hour. Within three months, you've already paid for solid cam. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of the three months, your post is still jacked. 
So one thing um, that's kind of, I think, new from when I was last using mm -hmm. SolidCam, it's been, you know, maybe five years, um, is this iMachining concept. So what's that? Whew, okay. When you ha typically have to activate high-speed machining, you have to pick a tool path. You have to pick, you have, all these variables are in, are in, you have to put in all these variables in order to make it effective. Mm -hmm. Well, high-speed machining, you got one button. It's from one to eight. If you put it at one, it will take off not that much material and the speed will not be that fast. You put it on eight, oh my God, chips are flying everywhere. It's not gonna hurt the machine, but it's the, the machine, the material removal rates go off the chart and it's just, like, oh my God, <laughs> that's eye machining. It, I get it why I call it eye machining because it's, it simplifies the HSM process for the user. By putting it in the sliding scale, I'm gonna put it on eight. And typically when people put it on eight, look, okay, this is very aggressive, it's kind of scary, I'm gonna put it down to six. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm comfortable with six. That's eye machining. All I know is that if I wanna go fast, I put it on eight. You know, you, you can tweak it. Mm -hmm. So you're not tied into the slider, but 99% of the time you want to use the slider. So yeah. Fantastic, well, um, any other features of SolidCam? that stand out to you or any other reason why it's your favorite, why it's your home base for yeah. CAM? Support, the support. I have tried almost all the other alternatives, even the big names. The support isn't there. Matter of fact, a lot of my business is modeled after the support I received from Greg and SolidCam. So, yeah, I mean, it's just the support. I can call Greg at any time. Yes. I can call him at any time. It's like, hey, I don't know what's going on. And he's like, okay, hold on. Okay, try it now. And hey, it worked, yay! And that's pretty much it. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> Remind me not to give you my personal number, huh? <laughs> I already have it, actually. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. Well, I uh, that, thanks for uh, telling me about your experiences. Yeah, sure. It's been a pleasure. So. All right, you thanks, too, man. Calvin. All right, man. See you later.